In this video tutorial, we'll learn about rotation symmetry of a circle. We have our circle here, and this is the center of the circle. If we start rotating this circle clockwise around this center, then this center is will be the center of rotation. The center of rotation. Let's imagine that we have rotated this circle by let's say one degree or even by let's say by two degree. So if we rotate this circle clockwise, the new position of the circle is denoted by this you know, position of point P, right? Think that it was somewhere here initially, now it has come to this point. So this is the new position of point P when we have rotated this circle by let's say by one degree or two degree. Now tell me, is there any difference between these two figures? You will say no. This figure is exactly the same, right? So we have a rotational symmetry here. Now, if I again rotate this circle, if I again rotate this circle, then of course there's going to be a new position of this point P. So imagine that we have rotated it by certain degrees. Let's say of the rotation, this is the new position of the point P. Now tell me, is there any difference in these two figures? You'll say, no, exactly the same one, right? So we again have the rotational symmetry. On further rotation, this is the new position of point P. Any difference between these two figures? No, we again have a rotational symmetry. After further rotation, in the clockwise direction, we have the new position of this point P. Any difference between these two figures? Well, no, exactly the same. We further rotate it and we reach here. Any difference between these two figures? No, exactly the same, right? So, doesn't matter by what angle we rotate this circle by, by every rotation, we are actually getting, the figure is actually the same with the previous one or the initial one. That is why we say that but every time we'll have a rotation, a rotation symmetry, therefore the order of rotational symmetry, order of rotational symmetry in the case of a circle, order of rotational symmetry. Now those of you who aren't aware of this term, please watch the introduction video to the rotational symmetry, whose link you'll find in the description box below. We have discussed uh, these terms in detail, the center of rotation, the order of rotation symmetry and all. Please watch that video. So order of rotation symmetry is infinite. That means that we'll have infinite number of times when these two figures will be exactly the same. Okay, so order of rotation symmetry is infinite. It means that it doesn't matter by what angle we rotate the circle by, uh, each and every time, that these two figures will be the same each and every time we'll have rotational symmetry. Now, let's discuss one last point. We have discussed about rotational symmetry and we have learned about uh, the line of symmetry when we were learning about lines of symmetry. So, if the rotational symmetry is infinite in the case of circle and we also know that even the lines of symmetry for the circle for our circle will be infinite because if we take this circle and let's say we draw a line from this center. So this line divides this circle exactly into two equal halves. The first half, the second half will be exactly the mirror image of each other. If I take another line, let's say this again passes from this center, it again divides these two circles, uh, this circle into two equal halves, the mirror images of each other. This is another line of symmetry. If we un take another line, let's say this is the line. So we have another line of symmetry because this line actually divides these, this circle into two equal halves. That is, they are mirror images of each other. That is why we have one more line of symmetry. So in the case of circle, we have infinite number of order of rotational symmetry and we have infinite number of uh, lines of symmetry in the case of circle. 